So, guys, something just happened um, that was super scary. Um, I've been in here sewing all day, so I've been with the pigs all day, with the exception of uh, maybe for like an hour and a half. I um, left the house and I was doing other things, and then I um, got the nightly veggies ready for the pigs, and I came into the room, and Sumatra here, who you're looking at, was completely bloated up. She was like four times her size and she would not touch the veggies. Um, so I completely freaked out. She's never been bloated before, but she's had all kinds of health issues in the last like seven months or eight months. Um, she's just, she's been through it. And so to see her completely bloated up, like even her cheeks were bloated up. So um, what I did is I, so I'm watching her, she looks like she might be trying to poop. Um, so anyways, what I did was I quickly sprung into action, which is why I'm jumping on here to make a video for you guys. Um, let me just show you really quick. I have this vibrating pillow. I have it turned on so you guys can see. This is the brand. Do you see those balls, those kind of massage? And then I don't know if you can hear it, but it also has vibrate. It has a setting where it just vibrates and then it just massages or you can do both at the same time. So this is what I did. I grabbed out this pillow, I put a towel over it, and I put Sumatra on top of it, like in this direction, so these balls could just massage her sides. And then I also gave her 0.5 cc of the infant gas drops, the um, Simethicone, and I put her on this pillow for maybe a good 20 minutes. It has like a couple of cycles. It'll go for like 10 minutes or so and then it turns itself off and then you have to start it again. So I did it for like three of those cycles. So maybe it was like 20, 30 minutes. And um, towards the end of the first 10 minutes, she started pooping. She just did like two poops and she kind of cried when she did it. Um, and then I could just visibly see this her bloating going down. So, um, as you just saw, she's back in the cage now, and she's eating hay. I put Timothy hay and orchard grass hay in there. Timothy has a, is a lot more dry, um, and uh, I think it's got a higher fiber content. Uh, excuse me if I'm wrong on that, but that's just what I've always assumed, that uh, Timothy's just a little bit more coarse, a little bit more fiber, so it should keep her gut moving. I'm probably gonna go ahead and put her back on this table uh, or on the massager um, maybe later on and because I want to make sure that her system keeps moving. Um, so her fur looks a little rough right here um, so that tells me she's not feeling good but I just wanted to jump on here and tell you guys if you guys don't have one of those vibrating pillows um, I think that's a good investment. I'm going to try to find the link for this one. I'm sure I got it on Amazon because I get literally everything on Amazon. Um, but I think it's something that you guys should have in your arsenal of stuff for your piggies um, because I feel like this is life-saving. Um, and within 20-30 minutes she was feeling better and you can see she's drinking water. Um, so, but my heart just started pounding and I got so scared, um, to see her like that and she didn't want to touch her veggies. So, um, yeah, keep us in your thoughts. We've just had a lot of things going on lately. Um, Sophie there, she's our little old lady. Um, she went into GI stasis over the weekend. So I don't know what's going on. Everything is sort of hitting at once. Um, so yeah, I will try to find the link to that vibrating massage pillow and post it in the comments. And then if you guys have any other ideas for gas and bloating and all that that you've done before that works for you, um, let me know. Let's kind of keep this conversation going if we can um, because I know this is a common thing with guinea pigs. And um, yeah. All right, guys. Bye. So this is the exact pillow that I have. I got mine on Amazon in 2015, so it's lasted me. And the dual uh, vibration with the massagers seems to work really, really well for guinea pigs in getting that gas moving. 
Because bloat is so deadly in guinea pigs, it's important to have some uh, medications on hand at all times. The Little Remedies um, Infant Gas Drops work great, and also the Activated Charcoal. I will leave links for both of those in the description with instructions on how I use them. You can also search on guinea links, and there's a lot of info out there about this stuff. But you really, really should have this in your medical kit. Mm -hmm.